so I have just received my package from Japan Depot and Japan Depot is actually a site, a Japan, Japanese proxy site or a place where you can get your Japanese address. So basically it's just a Japanese proxy site so I have signed up with them and gotten my Japanese address because as you all know, New, is it Nyokyu? Nyokyu and Bai, no Nyokyu and Makari aren't uh, collaborating anymore, something like this, like basically you, like they ended their collaboration. Something like this. I have actually not used Nyokyo before because I gotten my photo cards from uh, elsewhere, not on Makari. But ever since I discovered Japan Deport, I just decided to I started using Makari and I am sharing my experience in this video. So I hope that this would like kind of be helpful if you are trying to find alternatives to buy on Makari. And I think Japan Deport is a good alternative. But I'll talk more about it as you know this video goes on. So I got my stuff by EMS, but they call it EMS, but it's actually FedEx. But hey, it worked for it. Well, my items came, so came in this packet because I didn't buy lots of. Okay, I don't know how is my... How am I supposed to open this? But, okay, let's see. Okay, so... Here's my items. So it came in this, like, they put everything in this uh, polymeller that says Honto because I bought something from there as well. So, I bought from two sites, one from Honto, one from Makari. Because I wanted to make this, uh... I wanted to make shipping to my country more affordable yeah so i decided to buy like i bought one item actually and the thing and the reason why it's open is because they do provide a free photo service where they send you photos of the items once they arrive at their warehouse so that's why it's open there's nothing wrong <laughs> nothing was stolen okay so they just opened it up to check for me my stuff and okay there's just <laughs> cardboard very random but yes there's a cardboard here and then here are my items so yes this is a uh his han yu photo book he's, he, he's my favorite athlete and my favorite figure skater, so I bought his uh, 2017 2018 season photo book. But of course, the thing that is K pop related is my stuff from Makari, so it's my Woods photo card. They're finally here! So I'm really excited. When I found these items on Makari, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna get it because I couldn't find them at the usual place I bought them on. So, here they are. So they came in this, uh, they are inside this huge top loader, which I appreciate. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so there's these four photo cards. Okay, let me show you guys this one first because this is not. Colorful, it's not a colorful trauma photo card, but okay, I got this photo card. It's the only lovers left photo card, which is one of the cards I need to complete to finish up my collection. Yep, I'm still missing like a card, but I managed to get this one on the curry. And then next, I have this one. This is the Soundwave Capsule Lucky Draw. There's the normal Lucky Draw and the Capsule Lucky Draw. So this is the Capsule Lucky Draw photo card. Oh my gosh, it's cute. This is um, the picture was taken during uh, the Unique Era. So this is a picture from Simmons. From unique singing days, yes. Then we have these two extremely cute photo cards. These are the Apple Music. Uh, if I'm wrong, these are the Apple Music listening session, or is it? It's not. It's not the showcase. So I think it's the listening session, the Apple Music listening session photo cards. So um, what the listening session is about, like this whole listening session event, is basically you know, uh, Woods invited his fans to listen to his album before it came out on the actual release date. So yeah, there's this listening session, and it was help like the entry to get into the listening session was you can buy on a few sites so apple music was one of the sites and the photo cards that come with the uh the the, the photo cards that come with the listening session is really really cute and i decided to get it as you can tell i'm spending a lot on like non-album photo cards for colorful trauma just everybody's so cute yeah, they're so cute oh my god they're so cute so i decided to get it the price is of course it's pricey but i would say that uh I, I, i'm not sure if it's the best i could find but it's more of like i saw the listing and i'm, I'm gonna get it because i want this photo card so cute, and look at look at his nails. Pretty! Yep, so I got this, uh, these two photo cards, and so I have all these four. Okay, so now on to, I'm just gonna do a quick flip through of the uh, photo book. I know, it's not K-pop related or Woods related, but hey, I'm sharing the, the, the goodness in here. Okay, I'm just gonna flip through. And there was actually, he has other, of course, like, for each season, this is already gonna be an explanation about how figure skating works, but, so for each, like, sports season, there's like a season for like the uh, a competing a competing season yeah competing season in figure skating so I chose this particular I chose to get this particular season photo book yes I hope I explained it well okay so I'm also considering to get another season photo book but okay just my point okay so this is spine this is ice jewels so ice jewels is one of the famous photo books okay oh my god It's just a flip through. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come down. Let's just, let me see. Oh, it just says ice rolls. Okay, I'm gonna take the cardboard away because it's a 
Okay, let's put, let me put this aside. Okay, just a flip through, just a flip through. show you guys something from the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. I'm trying to like look at the photos off camera because I don't want to make this into like a Zhu Hanyu uh, boxing. But at the same time, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna like show you guys this page. Yes, this is the medal. Going a little like trick. To be honest, I kind of think that I'm going a little bit like I'm going like um, so I'm, I'm like side tracking. But hey, okay. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Um. Yep. So yeah, this beautiful. Okay. So. There were that these are the items that I got in my first ever package from Japan Depot. Alright, so I have another Japan Depot package here with me and I'm gonna open it now. So it came via EMS or basically FedEx. pre-order benefits from Colorful Trauma. So this is the pajamas on this and here's the bags. This and then oh, oh my gosh. And then this one, this is the sports uh themed one. It's so cute. Oh wait, these aren't pre-order benefits. If I say pre-order benefits, I'm wrong. They are the um oh gosh, sorry, sorry, but they are the fan sign or video call benefits, yes. And here's this one. Yep. So these are my cards. Oh my gosh, pardon me for the glare. Okay. I'm just like having an extra limit aside so that the lighting wouldn't be like bad, but Hope it's not making it worse. But yeah, that's it for this clip and the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And my experience with Japan Depot so far has been really good. Maybe I should turn off my light. Okay, so my experience with Japan Depot has been uh, fairly uh, really good so far. They are really quick and efficient when it comes to purchasing my items. So, and they also provide a photo proof. So they're just really efficient, and I'm really happy to be using this proxy site. And it's super easy to register with them, register an account with them and you have to do the ID verification though so that's something that you gotta be you gotta know in case you wanna use Japan Depot and if you're not safe if you feel that it's not safe to upload your ID photo on there then it's fine to use Japan Depot but once you have verified identity with them they'll delete the photo that you've sent to them so that's not to worry at all but overall my experience has been really good I appreciate how efficient they are in purchasing my stuff from me and I will definitely continue to use them so yeah, and alright, I'll see you guys in my next video. 